Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video for those that are on a computer that has an Asus motherboard. A lot of machines are actually running Asus motherboards. They are some of the most popular. Um, if you are, then this website will be interesting for you. It is the upgrade for 207 Asus motherboards that actually makes your motherboard turn on TPM 2.0. So I'll share this page with you guys. What you do is you go here, there's of course the manual method and it, they show you and tell you how to do it and where to go in your BIOS to turn on the PTT, which is TPM 2.0 and the, uh, uh, or, you know, depending on you have an AMD or a, um, a, um, a Asus, um, an Intel, sorry, uh, motherboard uh, or a CPU, sorry, that has TPM 2.0 in it. Uh, and also they have at the bottom here all the list of the different motherboards. You can actually download the file and execute the um, executable file in it. It will automatically update, first of all, your BIOS to the latest version if you haven't done so. And it will turn on the TPM 2.0 chip or firmware within the CPU on the machine. So by default, a lot of the newer machines now have it turned on, but a lot of them have the TPM turned off. So this will actually turn on. So check it out. If you have an Asus motherboard, this is the place to go. The link will be in the description below the video. Once again, the manual way. So they're going to tell you with uh, Intel platform or AMD platform what to do. And of course, then you can also, if you don't want to go play in the BIOS yourself and you aren't sure what you're going to do, simply go and download. Need, all you need to do is search for the proper motherboard that you have. So this is coming, uh, that information is available within, um, you know, with your machine uh, that you have purchased. So um, once you have the uh, proper download you just update and it will turn on tpm 2.0 unfortunately this is one of the things that is sad because a lot of people th think they're not compatible are actually compatible it's just that the tpm is not enabled and uh, so it makes you believe that it's not compatible really so check it out and click on it and hopefully you'll be successful on your tpm 2.0 um, processor or, or security chip and we'll have a video uh, coming up today where we're going to talk about where Microsoft wants to use the security of the TPM 2.0 chip within Windows 11 uh, at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.